Every Indian had tears in their eyes when Vikram lander of Chandrayaan-2 crash landed on lunar south pole due to a last minute software glitch during soft landing. But ISRO will again attempt to land on the surface of moon with its Chandrayaan-3 lander and rover mission. Unlike Chandrayaan-2 which comprised of a lander, rover and an orbiter, Chandrayaan-3 will have a lander, rover and a propulsion module instead of an orbiter. The propulsion module will have a large solar panel and thrusters. This propulsion module will carry the lander and rover configuration from Earth's orbit to Moon's orbit. It will behave like a communication relay satellite for lander and rover. The propulsion module will carry one scientific payload named SHAPE or spectral polarimetry of habitable planet Earth. Its function is to study spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from lunar orbit. Data from this instrument will help ISRO to make further discoveries regarding exoplanets which would be having life or located in habitable zones. ISRO didn't include a separate orbiter for this mission because the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter is still operation and orbiting the moon. The lander will provide data and perform scientific experiments on lunar surface and the rover will be encapsulated inside the lander. The main scientific objectives of Chandrayaan-3, lander and rover are to study lunar surface composition in south polar region. It will also study lunar topology, mineralogy, element abundance, the lunar exosphere and most importantly the study of water ice on lunar surface. Water is a very essential resource on moon as it can be exploited by future astronauts and to grow crops and it also can be used as a rocket fuel. The rover of Chandrayaan-3 is very small. It weighs only 27 kg, whereas the lander's mass is about 1,400 kg. The rover will move on six wheels and is planned to travel 500 meters on lunar surface. Moreover, it will move very slowly on moon's surface. Its speed is only 1 cm per second. The rover will perform on-site analysis and send data to lander, which will relay it back to propulsion module or Chandrayaan-2 orbiter, or it, will, it can also directly relay to mission control here on Earth. The expected operation time of rover and lander is about one lunar day or 14 Earth days, as its electronics were not designed to endure the frigid lunar night of 14 days. But it may survive the 14 day long lunar night because its solar panels have a sleep wake up cycle, which can restart when sunlight again falls on them. But this is highly unlikely. The wheels of rover will have ISRO logo and state emblem of India which is the lion capital of Ashok, imposed on them to leave behind pattern tracks on lunar surface. The lander will land in the lunar south pole region of moon. Chandrayaan-3 mission will be launched using a GSLV Mark III or LVM-3 rocket. This mission is under the phase 2 of lunar exploration which consists of lander and rovers. The planned launch date of Chandrayaan-3 is 12th July. However, if weather conditions are not clear, the launch window is from 12th to 19th July 2023. The expected landing site of lander is this. It is located in the southern polar region of moon. The lander has four payloads. The first payload is radio anatomy of moon bound hypersensitive ionosphere and atmosphere or simply rumba. It will be used to measure surface plasma density and its changes with time. Second payload is Chandra surface thermophysical experiment. This will carry out thermal measurements of lunar surface. Third payload is a seismometer called ILSA. It will measure seismic activity around the landing site. Just like here on Earth, we have earthquakes, moon has moonquakes, and ILSA will measure that. The fourth payload is laser retroreflective array, which will be used to understand the dynamics of moon system. The scientific payloads of rover are laser-induced breakdown spectroscope. It will study chemical composition and mineral composition of lunar surface. Second instrument is alpha particle X-ray spectrometer. It will determine the element composition of lunar surface and rocks around the landing site. Both of these instruments are really important if India wants to perform mining on lunar surface one day. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.